brother, can you introduce yourself? I should open your mask. Hi, uh, open your mask. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm Kosien. Uh, currently today 26 year old. Uh, currently working. Uh, so today we are here with CMSC to uh, visit the botanic garden and yeah, walk around, enjoy and have fun with our migrant friends. So. Yeah, actually you are arranged this session for uh, a meet with some migrant friends yeah. and uh, make a good uh, bonding for migrants and local community friends. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay, let's see and go here and uh, how is botanical garden and I have some more questions and uh, later I will ask you and uh, ask some of our teams. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Thank yeah, you. thank you. How do we celebrate this session today? Okay, so today we celebrated the session, you know, uh, with everyone going around, you know, botanic gardens and really have a nice walk around the orchid gardens. So we actually, you know, took a lot of photos. We, we had we had a good conversation to each other. And, you know, finally we are just here, you know, in front of the symphony stage. Yeah. And we have a picnic where, you know, uh, one of our volunteers, Kosin and Kanin, brought us a lot of food like chips, uh, satay and Indian rojak, you know, to capture the do cultural diversity of Singapore. <laughs> yeah, so I think as we had a picnic, we also had, you know, very good conversations, right? Like, it's amongst like the brothers and also the locals here. So personally for me, I was talking to uh, Alawuddin Bai and also, you know, Kabriya Bai about um, uh, the languages that they speak in their own country, so I feel like I've learned a lot from the session. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I have one more question. Uh, you meet uh, so many uh, countries, brother, uh, like Bangladeshi and Indian. Uh, today you learn anything? Uh, learn to him? Learn from him? Oh, anything okay. about culture like that, uh, okay. etc. etc.? Yeah, so today I was just talking to Alauddin Bai and also like Kabira Bai, so I was asking them where they came from. So Kabira Bai said he's, he stays in a district that's near Dhaka. And then Ala Udin Bai says he stays in a, a district that's 200 kilometers away from Dakala, which is actually somewhere near Chittagong. Yeah, Chittagong. And Chitagong. he talked a, a little bit about you know the languages in, in Bangladesh, about um, for example how uh, you know people of Chittagong have their own language and sometimes it's a bit difficult for them to communicate with each other. Yeah. And our brothers also said that they know, apart from Bengali, they also know in Hindi and Urdu. Yeah, and did. that's because like the languages are very very similar and Urdu is also like the language of Pakistan ah, and then they have a shared history history together because um, they were one country until 1971 yeah I think <laughs> yeah and they also mentioned that I think when they were one country with Pakistan they actually Pakistan actually forced everyone to speak Urdu uh, no. despite you know there's, there was so much diversity in terms of uh, our brothers actually speaking Bengali over Urdu. So once they achieved independence from Pakistan, uh, they actually uh, Bengali actually became one of the languages or one of the countries that celebrated like International Mother Tongue Day, which is somewhere in February. Okay. Yeah, February. Yeah, thank you. Talk a lot, eh? <laughs> Good job. Introduce yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Joey. I'm 24 this year. Uh, I just graduated from NUS. I just graduated and. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, now I want to ask you, uh, two days, you arrange one session. This is uh, you. Please explain uh, about this session. Like what we did today. Yeah, yeah. Did oh, today. yeah. So what we did today was that uh, we met at Botanic Gardens. Then we walked around Botanic Gardens. We went to the National Orchid Garden. Then now we're having a picnic. Uh? Yeah, having a picnic. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, now next question is, uh, how's your feeling? Then you meet with uh, some migrant brothers and so many countries uh, brothers. Right. Yeah. Actually. I feel very good lah. It's very fun. Like I finally get to meet all of you, cause um I cause we talk was has been on Zoom for a very very long time, right? So I always see your face, but I never see you in person before. So it's very very nice to actually finally see all of you in person lah. Then it's also very fun, cause like like talking to everyone is like everyone's very friendly, very nice. So it's just very nice to like talk to everyone and be with everyone lah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Then I I wanna ask uh, please uh, introduce yourself. I. I'm Colonel, 22 years old, also studying in a uh, university now. University. Mm. Okay. I, I also ask uh, this question again, same questions for you. And uh, how is your feeling today? Uh, so this is the first time I meet all our brothers. So I feel very, uh, it feels very different. Uh, and I feel very happy uh, because I first time I can get to know you all. And I see you all like a lot of things. You all like photography. You all like to play games. And I feel the same way. So we really, I feel that we can... We have a lot of things in common. Yeah, this is mm. common. Uh, now, you arrange this session. Uh, may I know uh, why you arrange this session like this session? 
this is very important and make a good bonding uh, local community and migrant communities yeah i think this session you know help us to understand each other better yeah understanding mm. with each other because every relations uh, need to be must uh, must need a uh, good understanding then we can do anything very easy mm. yeah yeah so i think last time we all had the zoom session for we talk it's yeah. very difficult to uh you know get to see you and yeah. uh what you feel about some of the things because sometimes you know because of the connection and all these things will be very difficult so i think physical is uh better uh last time uh, we can't do it cause uh, last time uh, have a lot of uh, restriction because mm. we never made any hire and any how because <laughs> every everything we uh, we are stuck on our term that's why we arrange oh, sorry you are arrange uh zoom session on uh, by zoom and etc etc then this is very enjoyable but uh, now restriction is very easier uh, before than now so we also uh, attend and meet with all of you and i also feeling uh, very better than before mm, that's uh, good i feel yeah. the same way as because yeah. uh, uh, last time i know some singapore cultures and uh, singapore about some things but today i meet here and meet all of you then i know uh, singapore some cultures and uh, so many things then thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> now i have a last question for you yes. uh, do you believe uh, need any uh, good understanding migrant brothers and local communities oh yeah i think it's very important for um, the local community in singapore and like migrant brothers to like to uh, understand each other lah i think for very long like the migrant worker community in singapore has felt very separate lah from singaporeans like they, they feels very separate and very foreign but they they form a very big part of our commun- of our community here in Singapore lah. So I think it's important for both for both communities to really come together and understand each other lah. So that we can actually be really, like coexist harmoniously, we can coexist like harmoniously yeah. and like happily together lah. I think that's very important. Yeah, this is very important. Thank you so much. Okay. Hi brother, now I have a last questions for you. Then this uh, this questions all of us single friend brothers. Okay? This questions uh migrants brothers and singapore local communities uh, need any uh, good relationship and this is important for uh, future singapore and present singapore mm, yes i think it's very important because uh, in the past we always thank our uh, pioneers the people that built singapore and uh, in a sense the migrant brothers are also very important to our society so i think it's important that we uh, take care of you uh, as part of our society and you know uh, understand you better and forge this bond like what we're doing now uh. yes yeah. now before uh, now last uh, two and a half years maybe uh, now pandemic situation before singapore and now singapore singapore and uh, local communities and brothers communities and difference any difference mm, any difference uh, i think the pandemic the covid has made us see that it's why it's so important to talk to each other yeah. because um uh before we were we can go out freely right beforehand now when we had to isolate we have to stay in our home for you in the dormitories in your own houses then we see it's so important to talk and to take care of each other yeah because last time everyone just go out we don't know how other people are feeling yeah mm. yeah thank you mm, thank you i have one question and this is the last question i ask this questions all of our singapore brothers and sisters then uh, do you believe uh, singapore local community and our migrant brothers uh this relations is uh, more important uh, for our singapore uh future singapore and present singapore mm, yeah i think how this also there's a lot more teenagers we are all uh having the opportunity or we are more inclined to uh meet our migrant brothers also to get to know them more our migrant community and it's also because we share this space this society in singapore also so uh it's really it's important that like you said uh to get to know one another be it like the singaporeans knowing the migrant community and the other way around because of course we share this space and it helps uh to understand these cultural differences to become more understanding of like whatever happens right uh like to understand uh whatever happens helps us understand like uh each other's view points also like, i think it's important to know each other's cultures and then like uh to be more accepting of each other also yeah. given that you know sometimes there there might be incidents whereby uh like 
sometimes there are incidents whereby uh, yeah. you know like mm, Singaporeans and migrant workers will come across each other then like it does help that we know each, uh, understand each other's cultural differences yeah. then yeah at least to get along better also. Right? Yeah, we have uh, some cultures difference because uh, we are so many countries rather have uh, every country have some own culture. Exactly, Again, yeah, right. Uh, I have uh, one question. So this is uh, any message for Singapore uh, brothers, uh, migrant brothers and any uh, future Singapore? Have any oh, message? Uh, I would say if there's a message I want to put out there, it's more like uh, just uh, sometimes you have to take the initiative, take the step out to go and get to know people outside of yeah, I think it's sometimes good to explore also, like different cultures. It helps you understand and mingle with people of different cultures. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? I have one question uh, for you. Uh, do you believe any uh, more important things uh, for good boarding, uh, Singapore local communities and uh, our migrants brothers? This relations is more important for Singapore? Yeah, definitely it's very important for Singapore. La, because I think we tend to think of Singapore in terms of like Chinese race, Indian race, Malay race and Eurasian race but we actually have a lot of diversity in Singapore for example you know like our brothers that come from uh, Bangladesh, India and China yeah. to work in Singapore and also you know our migrant sisters that come from Indonesia and Filipino uh, and Philippines to come and work here in Singapore so we are actually a very very diverse country and I think it's important you know for us you know to get to know each other for everyone to be able to feel uh, like they belong in this society. Yeah. This society. Okay, okay, I have this last question. Uh, this any message for your future Singapore and uh, local? Uh, sorry, this our migrants brothers. Uh, my, my message is very simple. So come and join us at CMSC We Talk. Yeah. Let, let's make friends together and yeah, hope to see you soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Th thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you.